morning everybody. Welcome to Stavely Salvation Army. We're going to begin by singing a song that was commissioned for the little blue book called Happiness and Harmony. And we're going to sing Love and Laughter, Happiness and Harmony. And they come from above. Beautiful words but if we only put this into action, we'd have a better world. And worldly joys may come and go. They cannot compare with the lasting joys which comes when God's life we share. So we're going to sing this and it's Let's pray. Heavenly Father, on this bright morning, this summer morning, we thank you that we're able to come and share with you. And we thank you that we can laugh and we can love each other. And we pray that this morning we will feel your presence as we share together. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Our next song, because I think we need to sing a bit, is a new world. Help us build a loving, caring, sharing, peaceful, happy world. And when you think of what our world is going through at the moment, England is going through at the moment. We bring our world to God. Help us build a new and better loving, caring, sharing, peaceful world. Lay the foundation on Jesus Christ our Lord and help us build a loving.
Our Bible reading is uh, taken from Ephesians and chapter 6. And on the floor here is put on the full armour of God. And we see the belt of truth. We see the breastplate of righteousness, holiness. We see the shoes of peace. And we see the shield of faith. We see the helmet of salvation. And we see the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And I just saw this and I thought that is so useful that we can look, not all at once, but we can look at the characteristics of being a true soldier of Jesus Christ. So, from the message, Ephesians 6 begins like this. Children, do what your parents tell you to. This is only right. Honour your father and mother is the first commandment that has a promise attached to it, namely, so you will live well and have a long life. Fathers, don't exasperate your children by coming down hard on them. Take them by the hand and lead them in the way of the master. Servants, respectfully obey your earthly masters but always with an eye to obeying the real master, that is Christ. Don't just do what you have to do to get by, but work heartily as Christ's servants. Masters, it's the same with you. No abuse, please, and no threats. You and your servants are both under the same master in heaven and he makes no distinction between you and them. And then we come to the most important part, a fight to the finish. And what about this? God is strong. And he wants you to be strong. So take everything the master has set out for you. Well-made weapons of the best materials. And put them on to use as God wants you to be used. To stand up against the devil. There is no afternoon athletic contest. I think that's interesting and we'll walk away and forget about the couple of things for that couple of hours this is for keeps a life or death fight to the finish against the devil and all his angels so be prepared you're up against far more than you can handle on your own. Take all the help you can get, every weapon God has issued, so that when all is over, but the shouting, you'll still be on your feet. Truth, righteousness, peace and faith and salvation are more than words. Learn how to apply them. You'll need them throughout your life. God's word is an indispensable weapon. So in the same way, prayer is essential in this ongoing warfare. Pray hard, pray long, pray for your brothers and sisters, keep your eyes open, keep each other's spirits up so that no one falls behind on the drop 
And don't forget to pray for your leaders. Pray that I'll know what to say and have the courage to say it. The message is, is very modern. Eugene Patterson is a good, up-to-date translator. But we have to look at what we're doing and why we're doing it. Put on the belt of truth all the time. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. The belt of truth. And of course, the armour of God is what we're here for. Now, we're going to sing as the deer pants for the water. So my soul longs after you. The translation of a psalm. You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you. And then the second verse. I want you more than gold or silver. Only you, God, can satisfy. You alone are the real joy giver and the apple of my eye. So we're going to sing those two verses and then we'll listen to the message from the songsters.
As I've looked through the preparation over these next few weeks, I've felt that we needed to be cheerful. Because sometimes you come to church and wow, we look miserable. We look fed up. We look, dare I say, bored. So be of good cheer. Matthew chapter 9 and verse 2 says this. Who needs a doctor? Back in the boat, Jesus and his disciples recrossed the sea to Jesus' home town. They were hardly out of the boat when some men carried a paraplegic on a stretcher and set him down in front of them. Jesus, impressed by their bold beliefs, said to the paraplegic, Cheer up, son! I forgive your sins. Now, some religious scholars whispered, Why? That's blasphemy. But Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why are you gossiping? Which do you think is simpler? To say, I forgive your sins, or get up and walk? Well, just so it's clear that I'm the Son of Man and authorised to either do both. At this, he turned to the paraplegic and said, Get up, take your bed with you and go home. And the man did it, and the crowd were awestruck, amazed and pleased that God had authorised Jesus to work among them. And what happened? Cheer up! And he did! Your sins are forgiven you. Now isn't that wonderful? Be of good cheer! Now, we come to church, we come to the Salvation Army to be fed, to be led, to be encouraged, to feel Jesus amongst us. And so I tell you, I give you the truth that Jesus can put that smile back on your face. The belt of truth is found in Ephesians 6. Let's really look at it today. We're now going to sing, He is Lord. He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord.
going to listen to the message from the band now. And I'd like the band to play Let Us Go Out Into The World With Love In Our Hearts. We'll see what we can find on the system. But let us go out. Let's not stick in our churches, our halls, but let us go out. During this summer period, let us go out. Let us be seen. And let us really feel God's presence this morning. <laughs> As part of the meetings over the next few weeks, we're looking at trusting God. For if we can trust in God, we have the belt of truth. If we can trust in God, he gives us the breastplate of righteousness. If we can trust in God, oh boy, we have the shoes of peace. We don't put our size tens in things, do we? Or do we? The shoes of peace. Remember the character Peter, the Apostle Peter. He was always putting his foot in it. And we have characters in our churches that do just that. But no, we want the shoes of peace today. And that's why we've got the peace as a reminder today. And then we've got the shield of faith. Now we're going to sing again, because he lives I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future. And life is worth the giving and living just because he lives. And the first line of that song, God sent his son, they called him Jesus. He came to love, heal and forgive. An old fashioned song from the Gazer family. But what words, what miracles, and then one day I'll cross the river. I'll fight life's final war with pain. And then as death gives way to victory, I'll see the lights of glory. And I know he lives. Let's sing these beautiful words.
Christ, you have come to trust in God. And you have placed your faith and hope in God. Because he raised Christ from the dead and gave him the great glory. 1 Peter verse 21. Whom do you trust? Do you trust yourself? Your husband? Your children? Your friends? Your extended family? Do you trust God? Trusting in your friends and family and even yourself is a great thing, but it can lead to your quick downfall. God will help you learn not to sin. God will help you learn not to only trust in yourself. And if you only trust in yourself, you'll soon wear out. Trusting only in yourself can only lead to more downfalls. We must be strong, we must love, we must show laughter, and we must show joy, peace and happiness. And one of our songs in the little blue book that we used to sing from, Happiness and Harmony, says, There's joy, peace and happiness. There's love filling my soul. Since Jesus came to me in all his fullness, he now, now, now can keep me whole. And there's a question, and I ask that question to you today. Will you let the master in? A friend that's ever true? When Jesus comes to you in all your fullness, then joy, love, peace will come to you. You have the answers. You know what you want. Let Jesus come to you just now. come to share with one another this morning over the airwaves, over the internet, and we pray, Lord, that you will use this avenue of mission and people will be questioned, encouraged, led, that today they will feel your presence and they'll want to know more about you. Lord, we've looked at Ephesians 6 and we will continue to do so. The trust, the belt plate, the, the love, the care, and the challenge of these words come directly. But may we have the belt of truth. May we be open to one another. Take away the nastiness. Take away all this uncertainty and may your Holy Spirit really come and fill us that we will be able to talk to people in our communities that 
They will want to know more about you. In the name of Jesus, I ask these things. Amen. Amen.